The anti-Semitic decision of the International Court in The Hague is a modern Dreyfus trial, and it will end the same way. 130 years ago, the French Jewish officer, Alfred Dreyfus, was falsely accused of treason by a biased French court. In response to these false accusations, the great French writer Emile Zola wrote his monumental essay, J'accuse. He accused the French court of anti-Semitic lies against an innocent officer who was later exonerated of all guilt. Now an international court in The Hague, also headed by a French judge, is repeating this outrageous offense. It is falsely accusing me, the Democrat... Welcome back to our Middle East updates. And what had happened earlier uh, was that uh, ICC had given an arrest warranty against the Prime Minister of Israel, that is Benjamin Netanyahu, and many people expected, we were expecting to hear a reply, what Netanyahu would say uh, if he will accept or if he will come hard enough on the ICC on what they have just done. And yes, as we expected, Netanyahu has come out so hard on against the ICC's uh, decision to uh, give a warranty of arrest against him, uh, regardless of what the things that uh, he has already done. And uh, personally, yes, I stand with Netanyahu on what he's saying and what he's doing, because we cannot just stand on one side and let the other side suffer uh, just because we have a biased understanding on the same. And uh, uh, him saying that he's not... Uh, like they are not, they will not accept, and is not accepting that. And a few people are supporting him on the same. Uh, we uh, we just okay on that. And uh, I feel like uh, it has been a bad way, or uh, the ICC made a bad decision on the same, because before the war began between Hamas and Israel, uh, Hamas got into Israel and they also massacred young people and children in Israel, and provoked. They started the war. Now that Israel is trying to resist and protect itself, they feel like Israel is doing much uh, on much harm on Gaza than. And another thing that, uh, you know, uh, ICC is uh, uh, trying to say that Israel did or met, uh, Netanyahu ordered is, uh, you know, uh, the civilian casualties that uh, are involved within the Hamas and all uh, Hamas and Israel war. But again, there's some other information that gives and says that, uh, you know, Hamas uh, used those people as a uh, uh, human shield. Whenever there was a period or a window for them to vacate and go to safer places, Hamas could uh, trick them back or create fear in them and bring them back to Gaza to use them as human shield. And uh, Netanyahu is very strong on that because he believes he has uh, clear evidence on the same uh, that it was happening that way. So it's not Israel that was doing so. It's not the Israel soldiers that were doing so, but it's Hamas itself that were, uh, was using these people as human shield and the children that were being used as a human shield against the bombardment of Israel. And uh, that is enough for Netanyahu to say, uh, we are not going to relent, we are not going to buy into the ICC issue or uh, uh, and uh, cowardice or go down until they have uh, uh, optimally achieved uh, the target of uh, completely uprooting uh, Hamas and Hezbollah uh, from the existence. And that is their main target. It's not the targets, not the civilians. And about the, uh, uh, the donations of food that were given uh, to the uh, Gazans, and most of those foods were eaten by the uh, were taken uh, taken hostage by the Hamas guys, and uh, were selling it back to the people in Gaza. And it was intended for the people in Gaza uh, at least to ease the uh, hunger that they were going through, and the water, and uh, you know. Uh, all the medical services that were given to them and they were uh, taken hostage by Hamas and all that. So most of the people uh, don't really fully understand what's happening on the ground, but it's like Netanyahu fully understands what's happening on the crowd and uh, uh, in the ground and getting the real information what's happening there. Uh, we will support Netanyahu in each and every way and uh, no one supports terrorism worldwide unless you're part of them, you'll support them. But if it hits on your door, it be a different story again so uh we support and personally support netanyahu on that because some of the things that are said by these people it's not just uh the things that can be followed and uh that is it and uh, uh let's listen to what netanyahu has to say on the same i'm happy 
to hear from Netanyahu and I'm happy to hear the stand that he has taken because if it was me, I would take the same stand and defend my people irregardless of whatever people say. So does that mean that ICC is, uh, the end of ICC is looming? Uh, ICC will soon not be uh, be working. ICC will not soon be effective because we've seen the ineffectiveness of ICC and the biases in some of the decisions that they are making. On the other end, maybe we are witnessing the end of ICC. And after ICC has ended, what will happen? Who will come next to take care of that? The anti-Semitic decision of the International Court in The Hague is a modern Dreyfus trial and it will end the same way. 130 years ago, the French Jewish officer, Alfred Dreyfus, was falsely accused of treason by a biased French court. In response to these false accusations, the great French writer Emile Zola wrote his monumental essay, J'accuse. He accused the French court of anti-Semitic lies against an innocent officer who was later exonerated of all guilt. Now an international court in The Hague, also headed by a French judge, is repeating this outrageous offense. It is falsely accusing me, the democratically elected prime minister of the state of Israel, and Israel's former defense minister, Yoav Gallant, of deliberately targeting civilians. This when we do everything in our power to avoid civilian casualties. We issue millions of text messages, phone calls, leaflets, to the citizens of Gaza to get them out of harm's way, while the Hamas terrorists do everything in their power to keep them in harm's way, including shooting them, using them as human shields. The court in The Hague accuses us of a deliberate policy of starvation. This one we've supplied Gaza with 700,000 tons of food to feed the people of Gaza. That's 3,200 calories for every man, woman, and child in Gaza. And these supplies, are routinely looted by Hamas terrorists who deprive their people of much needed food. Yet just in the last few weeks, Israel facilitated the vaccination of 97% of the people of Gaza against polio. This doesn't prevent the court of accusing us of genocide. What in God's name are they talking about in The Hague? The truth is simple. No war is more just than the war that Israel has been waging in Gaza after Hamas attacked us unprovoked, launched the, launching the worst massacre against the Jewish people since the Holocaust. The decision to issue an arrest warrant against me, the democratically elected prime minister of the state of Israel, and our former defense minister, was made by a rogue prosecutor who's trying to extricate himself from sexual harassment charges and by biased judges who are motivated by anti-Semitic sentiments against the one and only Jewish state. These judges did nothing. They did nothing against the real war crimes committed against the millions who've been murdered or uprooted by the dictatorships in Iran, Syria, and Yemen. Instead, they falsely accused the one democracy in the Middle East, Israel, thereby imperiling the right of all democracies to defend themselves against murderous terrorists and tyrants. Nor did the court do anything against the Hamas terrorists who raped our women, beheaded our men, burned babies alive in front of their parents, and kidnapped hundreds of men, women, and children to the underground dungeons of Gaza. They're still holding 101 hostages, citizens of many lands, including the United States. Come to think of it, the court did issue one arrest warrant against Hamas. Now hear this. They issued an arrest warrant against the corpse of the Hamas arch-terrorist Muhammad Dev, his corpse. What an absurdity. No biased anti-Israel decision in The Hague will prevent the state of Israel from defending its citizens. And I want to thank our many friends around the world, especially those in the United States, who have condemned this outrage and who have said that this decision will have severe consequences for the ICC and those who cooperate with its decision. Israel does not, Israel will not, recognize the validity of this decision. We will continue to do everything we must do to defend our citizens and defend our state against Iran's axis of terror, Iran and its terrorist proxies, which include Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis, and others. Our enemies are your enemies, and our victory will be your victory. 
the victory of civilization over barbarism and tyranny.